right, uh, welcome to this uh, continued discussion, the series of discussion that we're doing, uh, which is called uh, Exchange for Media and then Baskar uh, brings together this uh, series which focuses on uh, how non-metros are driving the next phase of growth in India. And we talk about a whole lot of things, metros versus non-metros. We talk about, we visit 2020, we see how uh, new trends have emerged uh, over the last 10 months plus. So today we have a very special guest with us. We have uh, Mr. Harkirat Singh, who is the managing director of Woodland. Uh, he's gonna join us and uh, talk about uh, the same aspect about how the entire premise of uh, the drivers of growth has shifted gradually from metros to non-metros. Welcome, sir, to this discussion. Uh, thank you so much. I remember meeting you one and a half year before, and today again, I mean, we're connecting virtually. A lot of uh, change has happened in the last 11 months, as we all know. So I want to just uh, ask you my first question that uh, we have seen festive season uh, giving some hope to uh, brands. Uh, what, how did it play out for Woodland, and uh, what was the uptick seen in Q3 compared uh, to the early part of uh, 2020. Definitely, everybody knows uh, during the lockdown period, and uh, you know the all the retail was shut, everything was shut, even the online business was shut. So it was not only in India, pan uh, it was worldwide. So of course, you know uh, during those months, the business was totally uh, dead because we are into non-essential products. Uh, uh, brand is mainly you know outdoor brand and lifestyle brand where we are doing shoes and garments and everything so of course you know the business all started was like in late september you know when things started rolling out stores started uh, opening so slowly and gradually we started opening stores because you know there was hardly any footfall in the market so uh, it was not before the season starts when you when you are saying the festive season with Diwali coming in that we saw some movement in the stores. Uh, people actually they were scared, you know, scared to come out, and uh, you know, so we could see some some people trickling in, in the stores. Of course, we were ready with our merchandise, you know, because we have a summer line and a winter line. So right. Uh, Summer season was almost wash uh, wash out, you know, because uh, there was hardly any sales. So we oh. we had planned our winters, of course, in time, and of course we had not, uh, you know, like we normally calculate our numbers based on last year's sales. This year we could not take that because we we were very sure that we will not be able to. Uh, you know, do the numbers which we did last year, which was an extremely good year last year. So the winters was very good for us. And we being into, you know, functional clothing, you know, jackets, boots and all, which are, which go very well for outdoors and especially for winters. So uh, right. our winter line is normally very extensive. So this time we, we were very cautious about ordering uh, the new range and how much we have to order but of course you know luckily the uh, with the coming of the season and with the festive uh, coming in and uh, mm -hmm. winter was pretty good you know especially in north india even now there's a good spell of winter so uh, the right. business was very brisk and uh, uh, yes definitely it was better than what what was expected because we we actually uh, had not uh, expected you know, this uh, financial year to actually do much of business, you know, because uh, there was a lot of uncertainty. Uh, people didn't know really, you know, whether this virus is going to come back or you know how soon the vaccination is going to come in. So there were a lot of questions, and you know nobody was able to answer to that. So everybody, right. everybody was specu speculating. So, so, so um, you know, uh, we definitely did better business than we, we what we expected. Yeah. Right, right. And sort of uh, Woodland being a brand that is truly pan India and it has metros, non metros all over, uh, very well known across. Uh, tell me, when you see this, uh, when we talk about non metros, uh, 
uh, in the last 10 months. Uh, in your view, uh, how, how have they contributed in the recovery phase? See, we've always been, uh, you know, we, we, we've been an urban brand. You know, we normally sell a lot in the metros and definitely a lot of our people are the people who are traveling and trekkers. So travel was almost closed, you know. So as you know, all, uh, you know, travel, whether it's air travel or, uh, you know, whatever, till now it's not really there. It, it also resonates with non-metros. I mean, of course, it's an urban-based brand, but I'm sure, you know, there are a lot of people, I have seen stores out in non-metros which sell woodland. We yes. have stores pan India and we have stores in practically all the cities, major cities. Of course, not Absolutely. rural belt. You know, we are not there in uh, tier three cities, but uh, tier two, we are covered. Even Significant. Even tier three, we are covered with uh, retailers who who are multi-brand retailers. You know, so right, we might not have a store there which is an exclusive woodland store, but we'll have some retailers uh, selling some part of a wooden collection over there. So, right, uh, of course, the sales have contributed from the non-metros also and smaller towns also, and uh, of course more so because. Uh, the pandemic was not really majorly hit in these smaller towns, you know, because, right. of course, you know, when you talk about Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, you know, these cities are overpopulated and, you know, like, so people who are really very worried about going out. But in the smaller right. cities, people did come out. And, of course, because there are not too many of markets where they can go. So uh, the, the growth was, in fact, faster recovery in those smaller towns than the metros. Right. See, it's the consumer sentiment and behavior has also changed in the last, um, uh, you know, 10 plus months. In your view, um, are these uh, shifting behaviors uh, becoming permanent part of the consumer journey? Do you see them or do you just see them as uh, a response to this crisis and it will come back to where it was before? This is like a, uh, for all your consumers who are in metros and non-metros. Do you see, see this shift as permanent shift? See, they, uh, we cannot deny that there's no shift. You know, there is a shift. And, you know, because the lifestyle has changed, many such right. things like, you know, the masks and the sanitizers and, you know, like all these hygiene products have come out. And, you know, especially the products which we do, you know, like antimicrobe and all our technologies, whether it's, you know, like uh, wherever we are talking about hygiene, uh, technical products, they they have become more important now. You know, people are going in for technical products and they are, are more concerned about the health first. And uh, But of course, you know, like if you see every brand has its own core, you know, so Woodland has its more, mainly our core is on adventure, outdoor lifestyle. So of course, our products are based on that. So, you know, people know us because of that. So when it comes to rugged boots and, you know, uh, waterproof jackets, so we are the, the only stores where people uh, think of coming first. So, right. you know, that will remain the same. But of course, there will be some added lines, you know, because during the uh, this uh, crisis period, you know, people were definitely spending lesser, you know, and they were going mm. for cheaper products and they were working from home so they didn't re really want to have you know like uh, dress shoes and formal shoes mm. and, you know so uh, for a while yes the change was there and is there and uh, i think it will continue to be there for some time but uh, the main products which are being sold will also be sold you know because like during the festive period or the marriage season which is very big in india you know like formal shoes and uh, right. shoes will definitely sell so you know like right. but the numbers of course you know like now since the parties are much smaller uh, the marriages people are limited to go to uh, just a few numbers so people are not buying so much so of course to come back to a normal, it might take a year or something like that. But of course, uh, we also have come out with new products, you know, like we have a big range of masks, we have uh, re uh, other technical products which we brought in and uh, which are also selling. So they have added up to the line, but our basic line remains there.
Right. So as you rightly mentioned, Woodland has a resonance with travel and adventure largely. But in the last few months, we haven't seen that happen. So tell me if I have to ask you that uh, if you look at the six months window, uh, last six months, what kind of products have driven growth for Woodland? We've always been an outdoor brand. So of course, you know, like our boots are definitely meant for going outdoors. Uh, on the hills or, you know, where you're going, uh, you know, trekking or something like that. But of course, our shoes are also for the daily use. So, you know, people who like this lifestyle, they buy our shoes, not only just for going outdoors, but for the day-to-day -day life also. So, uh, so our uh, range still, you know, the main sellers are, uh, are, are jackets, which are selling very well during these winters because they are, you know, like down filled jackets and there are a lot of technologies in the jackets. They are, uh, you know, organic products which are selling very well. Our uh, shoes and boots are always, you know, in short supply. So, of course, our main lines are still uh, going to be the same and they are still uh, growing. But, of course, the numbers are, uh, as I told you, you know, we, we didn't expect so much numbers because the basic footfall in the stores or the customers buying is lesser right now. So uh, when, when that comes to a normal, so we expect you know our main lines to be selling more. Of course, we've come out with some uh, leisure products and we've come out with products which are like athleisure. So because people have gone into you know like more of fitness now. So you know we we've uh, got in shoes which are fitness shoes and you know like which can be used for walking or jogging right. or sports so that line has also added in our line but i won't be able to say that they will be the main drivers now the main drivers will still be the classics and definitely right. this, these product lines will add on to that and probably in a later stage they will also grow right uh, tell me what were some of the changes that woodland undertook uh, in the past year uh, which would yield results hopefully this year i mean what were, were there any uh, big changes that you made uh, to adjust to the situation see the when uh, this period was there uh, of this crisis the pandemic so you know like first of all the main thing was how to survive because when all your stores are closed, all the businesses closed, factories are closed. So you first of all, you look for, you know, how to start and, you know, uh, what to start, you know. So uh, the best thing which came out was that you know, we had uh, a lot of these stores or uh, factories, which were probably, you know, like we were running them because, you know, they were there, but we, we didn't really need them because we could have done without them also. So, you know, we curtailed a lot of uh, such uh, works which were not adding value to our uh, the whole organization. Right. So, right. cost cuttings were there, you know. So, I right. think that, way, that gave us, uh, you know, that trimmed the whole system and made it more efficient. So, we, we are now much more efficient and now I think we, we are very clear about how to go about it. So, I think that was... Uh, across for all the companies which you know they, yes. they, they all uh, try to uh, cut costs and all so that was the biggest thing which we could do and then of course we also focused on our as i told you on our core lines we we know you know which are our best sellers and you know if even if i would have taken a risk during that time and planned more production i would have only gone in for the product which i'm dead sure that I won't be, you know, left over with inventories for that, you know. So uh, we we focused on those uh, particular products and lines which we could take a risk, you know. And of course, we are, we are glad we did it, did that because things got better uh, faster, and uh, all our stocks which we had made during the, those times and planned those times, those are now selling, and we are at least not short of stocks. Right. Rightly said, I think this has been a period of rethink and re-strategizing. Uh, tell me, Mr. Singh, how do you see the demand curve in the coming months, especially if we talk about uh, non-metros? Uh, what uh, we see is definitely, you know, things are getting better and we feel, uh, you know, like uh, the growth part is there. 
and we are uh, of course we are planning new stores also we are you know always in lookout for newer stores and especially in the uh, cities which we are not present so of course uh, the growth will not be at the speed of the uh, the uh, we used to do earlier but of course right. very cautiously but of course uh, there are a lot of stores which were in the pipeline and we had uh, plans to open this uh, these areas and uh, since india is a big country and especially the smaller towns are uh, the the drivers for the growth so we are already uh, very well covered in the markets in the metros so we are looking forward where, where which new states especially we feel you know like in the north because as i told you we are more of a winter uh, winter products are very strong so we are going in for opening stores in uh, some of these cities towns in the north as well as the south which is a very strong market for us that was my next question you answered it right the great north and south great to me uh, so we are all in the recovery phase still the economy is trying to limp back to normal see uh, are you bracing for some new challenges uh, as a brand see first of all you know we uh, uh, the uh, one of the biggest learning of this uh, period was that we we uh, we strengthened our online business you know because uh, you know de uh, definitely when people are, were scared to come to the stores uh, the only possibility to sell was through on online so with right. all our partners like amazon flipkart and mintra and of course with our own website we did a lot we, we made all our stores omni channel and uh, uh, the sales which are coming from the online business is much higher right and uh, earlier and uh, since we as i told you we made all our stores omni channel means every stock in every store whether it is in the remotest area of maybe kerala or in assam you know those those stocks are also available to customers throughout india so uh, right all the stocks are uh, listed and uh, i think this 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 we feel is going to be the future because we are uh, spending a lot on our technology and it to uh, strengthen our online business much more and of course you know the the store growth especially in the small we got a lot of customer base from the smaller towns also you know because those people were having no access to the stores so definitely you know they 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 had an opportunity to buy online so uh, i think that is a very big change which we did in right right uh, my, my final question is about uh, 2021 a lot of hope uh, on uh, this brand's placing a lot of uh, positive sentiment because the vaccine is around tell me in terms of revenue how do you see fy21 ending uh, compared to last year see compared to last year we are, we actually can't even compare you know like 6 months more than 6 months just went without any business so you know like uh, even if we we are able to uh, right now the stores are achieving almost about 60 to 70% of the sales which if we compare to last year so you know like even if we we uh, we achieve say about 60 to 70% of last year business it will be a very right. good target to keep you know so i think we are moving towards that and we'll right. be very happy you know if we can achieve that much right right thank you mr singh for joining us and sharing your thoughts it's has been great talking to you and learning about the new markets that you are planning to go into and the way you have responded to this crisis thank you once again for joining me